It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Hey, welcome back to Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Yep. There's there's Josh Arnold, the I hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Whoa. Ace Cosby at the track phone hey. hotline. I'm Chick McGee at the DoorDash Sports Desk. And there's Greg Warren in the Oxford Gold Group Performance Room. Well, well, well. Greg! Hey. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> Do you play guitar? Uh, no, I tried a couple of weeks and oh. I gave it up. Clarinet, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah clarinet. Yeah, oh, you should oh, have yeah. brought your clarinet in. No, that's no, that's right. Uh, yeah. Well, your well, flute and all that. Well, well, well. <laughs> There's uh, Willie Griswold and Tom, why don't you tell us how things are right now? <laughs> <laughs> He's putting on a seventh shirt. <laughs> what, are you, <laughs> what are you doing over there, Miss Ross? What's going on? <laughs> it took you four minutes to put your shirt on. Oh, uh, hang on. Cher has a costume change. <laughs> You get a little chilly? I'm getting a little chilly, and as you know, my right arm doesn't work real well, <laughs> so getting a shirt on is somewhat difficult. But All I right. managed to get it on. Thank you. For <laughs> are you a uh, are you a righty? If you know what I mean. <laughs> Am I a righty? No, he's not going to admit. Or, or were that. you? There's and no then you had to. You had to there's no way he's that. going. My <laughs> arm, my arm functions. It just doesn't go above. What my he's shoulder. asking you is which does one it? do you? I, I, a gentleman doesn't discuss <laughs> anything about this. Either I'm a lefty because I broke this wrist when I was like 14. Did you break it while cramming? Uh, here. Never mind. <laughs> I, I, was, I was pushed in gym class. Mm -hmm. You were in love with your fist. You were, you were pushed in gym class. That's right. <laughs> See? The true Warren comes out. There he is. You He's got a, a bully. You got a gym class injury? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What did the, the guy say before he shoved you? He said, uh, sit down, Arnold. You're not playing this game. <laughs> it, 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 it was something like that. <laughs> we have a letter here. Um, no, uh, comedian Greg Warren is sitting in uh, the room known as the Oxford Gold Performance Room. That's where Pat usually sits. And as you have heard, Pat is having surgery. In fact, I think they're starting it right about now. Um, Prayers to Pat. Uh, we have this nice letter. Uh, this is from a uh, young lady, Jackie, uh, listening in Wisconsin. Jackie! She says, hope all goes well for Pat. Love your show. By the way, my boyfriend had back surgery a couple years ago. He was sent home with an extra large hot dog tongs <laughs> <laughs> yes um <laughs> oh my god i know where you're going with this uh, uh, <laughs> to wipe he was instructed to wrap toilet paper around them to uh I see. Yeah. yeah so he wouldn't put them up and pull out uh, no, he no, would no, just no. use them to wipe but yeah, apparently, I don't think there's there like any pincers. with this surgery. You can't apparently access that area with <sighs> yeah, yeah, normal circumstances. You yeah. know, that's that's a big uh, that's a big enchilada that hangs out there that maybe some kids Willie mm -hmm. don't realize. That's what it's all about, Tom. Mm. Who's behind? Would you will you wipe in the coming years, or who's will wipe, who will wipe yours? That's love, kiddo, right there. <laughs> or we'll take the ninth caller. <laughs> that's uh, that's a big enchilada hanging okay, out there. Well, we'll okay, see. fine. You don't want to talk seriously. That's fine. We'll we'll see how we'll see how, uh, how Pat does that. In the meantime, uh, Greg, before we uh, talk to you, coming up in the news, we have a story, a legitimate story, that peanut butter is in the news yeah. today. And I know that. Uh, oh yeah. You know, mm -hmm. the next thing you I know, can, uh, so, somebody will come up with some comedy bit about peanut butter. Who the hell cares? <laughs> Who would bother? We'll, we'll get to that coming up, but first we return to the sports page with Chick McGee. Well, Greg wants to talk hot stove put baseballs. What Greg wants? To talk. <laughs> is that yeah. right? Yeah, a lot of contracts out there. A lot of uh, a lot of trades. Uh, <laughs> say, I was told in the hallway. I was more a con you know a conversation with Greg is more of a uh, you're assaulted really. <laughs> uh, 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 St. Louis boy Max Scherzer. Uh, what is it? Forty million a year to go pitch. Forty three million 40 a year pitch for the, for the Mets. Come the on, Mets, Tom. Yeah. How about yeah, that? Huh? Wow. And uh, have you heard, Greg, uh, the baseball people, I'm guessing Rawlings, are admitting that there were two different baseballs uh, last year. Well, season. the MLB purchased Rawlings, so they're all in it together. But uh, oh, we'll have to see. Well, that's Josh's old uh, outfit. Yeah. Tidy. Yeah. yeah. You don't see him walking around doing uh, stand-up hunks about baseballs, okay? Ah, he just talks about his junk. <laughs> I, I give the audience what they want. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. That right. Okay. Uh, I know he has. What is it that Jimmy Pardo says? I know he's a penis. Why isn't he talking about it? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back.
back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee. Hey. At the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. There's Greg Warren at the Oxford Gold Group Performance Room. Ready where's, for you where's, to he, perform. where's he going? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, He's going to the Blue Room. Yeah. Springfield, Missouri. Yes. yes. I, knew, I know now. Friday and Saturday. Don't miss it. Evidently, he's going to try comedy this weekend. <laughs> he's uh, first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that story in a moment. There's Josh Arnold, the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. I'm Chick McGee at the DoorDash <laughs> Sports Desk. There's Ace Cosby manning the track phone hotline. There's Willie Griswold, and there's Tom Griswold. Long ago in a young world, mm -hmm. when, uh, when we were all babies, uh, Greg and I would go out on the comedy tour. And I think it was Greg's idea. I'd go, why don't you just no, act like I'm from Belarus? No. Or was it my idea? Yes. <laughs> so I walk tell out. Me any of this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and this is like, Greg's been on the show a bunch. And he killed it, of course, I guess. And uh, so <laughs> I go out on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this next comic, he's, uh, please give him a little leeway. He's for his first time on stage. <laughs> he's from He's from Belarus. <laughs> He's not really clear on our language. Please. He told me none of this. <laughs> that might be the way this happened. Yeah. <laughs> so then you went out on stage. Ladies and, and gentlemen, Greg Warren. And Greg, of course, good guy to his, <laughs> went ahead and rolled with it and said, he's, uh, he's first time. <laughs> he's first time doing joke. And he started, he, I think he went ahead and said a joke and messed up the punchline and way in the back in the theater, a guy goes, don't worry, it's your first time. <laughs> <laughs> It, Very helpful. It was why you get up in the morning. Okay. That was later in the set when I we'd stop doing the bit and I was doing my act and I I stuttered or something and this guy goes, "Don't worry about it, buddy. It's your first time." So they thought that you you, you had been able to get rid of your accent oh, in the God. course of talking. Yes. yes. And we're now making interesting observations about yes. various aspects of contemporary. I, I, another time I was I was opening for Kathleen. Matt in, in a Bob and Tom market uh, somewhere in Ohio I think and um, <laughs> I was doing what I thought was uh, really good stuff you know <laughs> really really good stuff and uh, yeah, I thought it was going well and about 10 minutes into the show this guy just goes open her up Greg <laughs> <laughs> Quit holding back. <laughs> Open her up, man. Give, give us the A material. <laughs> Open her up, Greg. Or or corn. Corn. He's boring sandbagging us. Come on, yeah. Greg. I thought I was doing my A stuff here, man. That's funny. Oh. Now, I've got a couple questions I want to ask you, Greg. But first, uh, it's his first time. Bruce that sexy man oh. with a deep voice. Ace Cosby. Joke of the day. I've gotten really good at sleeping since I've been on this show. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I can do it with my eyes closed. That was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. That's, uh, that's the worst one he's ever done. <laughs> No, no. Yeah, it is. No, no. I, I think it might be. I think no, it, no, I don't, I don't, that's no, the worst. I've been in here. The worst. Well, I've been in here for a lot of them. That's by far the worst one ever. It is one of the worst. <laughs> well, I, I did, Greg, I didn't want to embarrass you. <laughs> you didn't want to show me up. Yeah. No yeah. upstaging. Yeah. Now, uh, Greg, there's a story in the news that I thought might interest you because I know lately you've been uh, talking about this topic. Uh, it involves uh, parking and something else. Do you have it, Chris? New Mexico State University is offering anyone with a campus parking citation the chance to get out of their jam with some peanut butter the university will accept at least 80 ounces of peanut butter the equivalent of five to six small jars as payment for a citation for parking without a permit i see donations will be accepted through the end of the week at the parking and id card services office inside the university's bookstore on the las cruces campus all the peanut butter will go to Aggie Cupboard, a food pantry serving the campus community. Aggie Cupboard, a woman who lives down the street. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Aggie Cupboard. <laughs> and I appreciate the peanut butter you boys are sending, but uh, I don't really eat that much. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Help out the community and... Who wouldn't take that option? No joke. Yeah, uh, and you said 80 ounces? Uh-huh. Total, yeah. That's probably a club pack 
Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, no, they, 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 we, we, we designed a, a, a two forty ounce, a dual 40 ounces uh, that we would sell to Sam's and Costco and okay. stuff like that. Yeah, it's two forty ounces is probably what that is. Because you used, you used to sell peanut butter. I sold Jif, uh, t uh, Tom. Yeah, That's my favorite peanut butter, Greg. Well, it's everybody's favorite. It's uh, And I love their slogan, Choosy Mothers Choose, choose Jif. Jif. Choosy Moms, uh, Tom. Choosy Moms. Oh, yeah, they, they were a little more casual. Oh, yeah. was it Choosy Moms? Cho okay, choosy sorry. Moms Choose Jif. Now, that's... Again, it, that's not fanatical moms. Have you know? we uh, have we run out of topics? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> I, no, 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 no. We haven't. Greg, Greg has. has. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're not married, don't have kids. You got to talk about oh, peanut butter. Oh, jerk. Peanut butter. No, I, I, I'll Look tell you what. Who's talking? What happened to oh, the... Oh, my act's no good. What happened to my act's no Survey. So let me do a little survey okay, here. Okay, all right. Um, there's one right answer to this question. Ace, crunchy or smooth? Peter Pan, smooth. Peter Pan. Oh. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, you eat Peter Pan? Yeah. Is it... Uh, Let no, me be clear here, man. You, you have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> if, that's what, if you prefer that, something's wrong with your taste buds. Yeah. All natural jib, yeah. and it's creamy. Yes, it's not smooth. It's creamy. Creamy, well, now let's, jazz let's is smooth. Take, hang on, let's take a poll. Let's not influence people. Do you like smooth or creamy? Yeah, I hate crunchy peanut butter. I know the numbers on this, by the way. I mean, uh, Josh? I, I'm a smooth guy, but I will not, uh, I won't turn down. If somebody said I made you a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it's crunchy, I would eat it. And peanut butter and jelly is your favorite food. You've said that. It legitimately show. is, yes. Okay. Yes. Your, your thoughts, Greg Warren? Well, I mean, uh, it's four to one. Creamy to crunchy and uh, oh, really? across mm -hmm. the board, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah four to one. Yeah, I'm big difference. Um, you know, I uh, I probably prefer uh, a, a creamy. Okay. I'm, I'm a, like Josh. I'm a, I wouldn't turn down crunchy. Uh, I'm a smooth guy. You yeah. know, biscotti has a, a peanut butter or, or a, a, a That's butter. Like a cookie as, butter. A cookie butter yeah. mix. It's, 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 it's so much better than Jif peanut it's butter. It's not. It's not. It's a, for me, it's a different product <laughs> it's, altogether. It's, it's, it's a, yeah, it's yeah, a it's specialty good. item. That it's, it's not even... <laughs> Just got like a fifty market share. That thing has less than a point two or something. It's sure, not, it's sure, not, sure. You know, What's the number two peanut butter? Uh, these days, it's got to be Peter Pan. It would. It used to be uh, Peter Pan when I was in the business. Um, <laughs> was Skippy Annette Finicello? Yes, she yes. was the uh, Annette Finicello. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think Skippy would be number. And, and I, yeah, it's. It's skip. I think it's Peter Pan, probably, but at a, at you know like a distant second at this point, probably it's these uh, private label <laughs> right, I was gonna store say. brand, which used to drive me insane because it's like it's like the store brand that the, they have their own peanut butter and it's yeah. uh, it's their store. They can put it where they want, and they would put it like right in the middle of the GIF section because we're the best. And their their whole <laughs> logic would be <laughs> no. Listen, one. their their logic was like, hey, I'm gonna I'm coming for GIF, but oh look right now. Next to it, here's a, a, a peanut butter that's almost the same for 80 cents less. Right. Which, the logic doesn't hold up. That would be like, hey, you know, I know you're going to go on a date with a supermodel today, and you're going sailing, and, and <laughs> you're going to eat spaghetti and have sex all day, but <laughs> for 80 cents less, I could hit you in the face with a brick. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, I, I see the analogy. That's a fair comparison. Yeah, yeah that's it's, really, it's, that it's works. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I am stunned, yeah. Here you go. Number one is Jif. Number two is Skippy. Yep. Number three is Store Brand. Yeah. Okay. That's where they're referring uh -huh. to that. Number four, Peter Pan. Yep. Uh, number five, Nutella. They're saying Nutella is a... That's not a peanut butter. Nutella is not a peanut a butter. No, Nutella is, is to peanut butter what Miracle Whip is to mayonnaise, oh, which is I, an abomination. I yeah, don't know, it man. Is. What yeah, about yeah. Goobers? I'm it already a, has the jelly in it. Yeah. Oh, that, do, you guys, do you guys remember when Reese's tried to get in the business? I do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They're on the list. Yes. I know. They're Christy... Num they're number was, seven. Number yeah, seven. Guys, stay in the candy aisle. We're not playing trick or treat with feeding families over here. Right. You don't see Ring Pop trying to get in the jewelry business. <laughs> <laughs> it's <just> like... <laughs> Uh, then, there's, then there's planters is in the peanut uh -huh. butter business. I've not tried it. Again, it's just a desperate, like, let's cash in on our brand that has nothing to do with it. No, uh, Greg, they make peanuts. peanuts. That's direct to the <laughs> source. Exactly. It's a direct very source, different thing, friend. Christy. They smash up peanuts and make it into butter. That's right, because that's just what peanut, is, peanut butter is, just smashing <laughs> up peanuts. It's a lot what more else complex. Is it? It's to, uh, fortified. And, uh, <laughs> I think you got him. I think you just won. <laughs> let me, let me like ask you this, risk. Greg. 
with your. You used to work for the company that uh, sells Jif. I worked for Procter and Gamble, yes, uh, and uh, you're a big Jif fan, as I, I am too. I am too. Yeah. Uh, do you have? Did you have like coaching things about helping people with peanut butter recipes? I know, for example, my father loved peanut butter and bacon sandwiches. Uh, did no, you have any? Any, isn't that, have you ever tried that? I haven't. It's um, very good. You've got the salty and the savory. That, that sounds great. Yeah, very, yeah. very tasty. Don't, don't eat it. It gives you polio. <laughs> <laughs> See, now my, my, my I think father, I would have heard of that. My, my father sadly had polio. Wow, wow that's a well, terrible... Well, there you go. Yeah, wow. that's a horrible God, yeah, I know, I know. Tom never makes jokes about my dead dad. I've never heard him do that. I've been in this, I've been in this show several times. I've never heard Tom do that. Anything oh. like what you just did. Oh. Just like, You're a bad this, is where, this is why I hate Warren. <laughs> <laughs> Do you Somebody. know who owns uh, uh, owns Jif now, Tom? Who? I have who? no idea. Smuckers. They really? do. Smuckers so owns peanut butter and, and jelly. jelly. <laughs> if these guys ever get a hold of bread, it, it's over. Don't. <laughs> but uh, the government will step in. That's Sherman Antitrust. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you can't yeah, own makes, a whole this sandwich. Makes the Facebook, Instagram thing look like nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> peanut butter and jelly. That's just terrible. I mean, you tell they broke up the phone company in the '80s. <laughs> Once again, we're discussing peanut butter. That was Aggie. <laughs> um, the uh, New Mexico State University is offering those that have uh, campus parking citations. And that's where most colleges make most of their money. Absolutely. The tuition is yeah. number two behind <laughs> campus parking. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, and this is a sweet thing. There, there. Are, you can get rid of your parking tickets if you pay in peanut butter, which are give, they're giving to the Aggie cover. How much peanut butter? Like one jar? Eighty ounces. Eighty ounces. So Eight, yeah, two it's forty ounces. Two forties. It's, it's a club pack. You can pick it up pretty See, easily. In college, I drank a lot of two forties at parties, but uh -huh. it was usually from Old English or Mickey's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mickey's Big Mouth. Oh, sure. That's an excellent yeah. forty ounce. Oh, yeah. A couple uh, warheads. <laughs> in any event, then we got on the topic of peanut butter, and as it turns out, our guest comedian Greg Warren is an expert. Is something. Of an expert because he used to sell uh, Jif peanut butter. Yeah, I mean the um, and I we're, we're having an off-air debate. Uh, wasn't it wasn't it crunchy and smooth or crunchy? Creamy. And, it's creamy. Uh, some people do call it smooth. Uh, uh, I grew up calling it smooth. Yeah. We called it creamy. When I, I called it smooth, what, is, smooth. what does it say on the jar? Creamy. Smooth as a fresh jar, Skippy. I think I right. think Jif says creamy. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. I think they say creamy. Because um, there's the alliteration of creamy and crunchy. Sure. And, right. Uh, I'm I not sure. I just, we always call it smooth, but and I much prefer it. And you say that the smooth outsells the uh, the crunchy. Four like, to one. Okay, that makes yeah, sense. Just to go one. to the store. You can see that. It's I'm always looking at sold many, out. Many, many, uh, Are they many, the many bar, I have a question. jars. And they all say smooth. Oh. They do say smooth? Okay. Uh, not Jif. Well, other it's brands Jif are said. smooth. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I have a question for you, Greg. Yeah. Um, you've got your, your Jif has both a, a, a creamy and a, and a crunchy, right? Sure. Are they the same price? Yeah, and they, I, they I don't are. think they should be because uh, if you think about it, the crunchy, we didn't really finish making that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you go down to the plant, the crunchy guys are probably getting off at noon and the creamy guys are still smashing peanuts at 5.30. Uh, that should be reflected in the price. That's yep. basic accounting, you know, I sure. think. When, I couldn't uh, agree more. I, I, and, and Tom, right. I, I brought that up and uh, they turned, uh, you know, they didn't listen to me, but, uh, you know, I, I, I tried to fight for the people. Hmm. Just j as far as sizes go, <laughs> your 18-ounce size... That's yes. where all the action is in oh, that's peanut butter. Normal that's what, size, that, so to speak. Well, it's just where all the promotions are, Christy. Ah. It's where it's where they're going to try to make their bones. It's where they're going. It's where the peanut butter wars take place. Now, <laughs> if you go to your grocery store, I don't know. I, I'm I'm a little out of, off on the prices because I'm a, a few years behind. But you go today, you probably see it on the shelf, two ninety nine for an eighteen ounce jar. Mm -hmm. and, okay. Maybe they'll run a special, uh, you know, one ninety nine. Now back to school time, somebody might get crazy. Go two for three. If oh, they wow. do that, oh, that's stock a loss up. Right there. Yeah. I put together a deal one time, Josh. Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, huh? oh, yeah. Uh, uh, 200, 200 stores. Okay. Right? And uh, 18 ounce Jif, 99 cents. Well, oh. that's that's where you got to buy. 99 cents. I mean, it was a limit three, but 99 oh. <laughs> cents. And uh, people went crazy. Sure. Uh, they, they were coming over the state line. <laughs> <laughs> Even, All the way to the central part of Ohio. Oh, yes, wow. even even the bad moms <laughs> bought Jif. <you>. Oh. <laughs> Mama, Mama this peanut butter tastes good. Don't get used to it, boy. I ain't giving up cigarettes, and I ain't giving up Red Bull. So when it's gone, it's gone. You know? uh, 
<laughs> Thank God the phone rang. <laughs> no one likes you. <laughs> Hello, Bob and Tom Show. Hi, Bob and Tom. It's hey. Donnie Baker. Hey, hey Donnie. Donnie. Oh, you think that story's bad? I got suspended at my gym again yesterday. Oh, yeah? Well, last time I got a 30-day suspension, I was close to staring at some women while she's working out, Christy. Mm -hmm. oh, and I said, if they don't want you staring, then why put mirrors on every damn wall? Uh, good point. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's a profound statement I just made. Mm. I, mean, I should put that on a sweatshirt or in a fortune cookie or hashtag it up something. Anyway, <laughs> if she wasn't that into it, then why did it take her seven minutes and three tiles to clean off the banana seat on the thigh master when she was done? Oh, <laughs> God. Jeez. Wiping off a mucus trail. Oh, but this time, oh. I got suspended. I got suspended this time for going all Steven Seagal's on some dude who put his danglers up in my face. Danglers? <laughs> I swear to God, Josh. I was doing my regular routine, laying on the bench press, fixing sure. the max out. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, my vision basically gets eclipsed by some... Uh, a sweaty dude and a pair of Larry Bird nut huggers. <laughs> you know? I was like, what the hell, dude? He's like, oh, uh, you know, I'm spotting you, bro. I'm like, no, I'm spotting you, bro. Now get your shiitake mushroom tip away from my face. Oh. You know? I mean, I'm all for hog checking, but not at pork blank range that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, right then I slip, and instead of racking the barbell, I rack myself with it. Oh. Mm. Now my crouch looks like a defeated speed bag. Mm. Pretty God. Then I got my revenge because when I fell floor, <laughs> my foot rammed the guy in the rear, and I mean rammed, because he ran off with one of my Crocs stuck in his crease. <laughs> Pretty God. <laughs> now, I'm not standing for a year. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight. <laughs>